Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We continue the lecture on neural signaling across synapse. So this is the image of the two uh, synaptic neuron, the presynaptic and the postsynaptic neuron, and in between of them is the synaptic cleft. So what are synapses? Synapses. There are two types of synapses: electrical synapses and chemical synapses. Electrical synapses involve the electrical current which direct from one cell to another cell via a gap junction. This gap junction known as synaptic cleft. Meanwhile, the chemical synapses, um, it involves the presynaptic neuron. Okay? The chemical synapses consist or uh, contain inside the presynaptic neuron and then the chemical neurotransmitter will be released from the presynaptic neuron to the terminal and then go to the synaptic cleft. So the majority of the synapses are in the form of chemical synapses. This is the image of the chemical synapse and electrical synapse. If you can see in chemical synapse, okay, it needs the uh, calcium ion uh, to trigger the synaptic vesicle attached to the membrane of the presynaptic neuron okay and for the electrical synapse it involves the electrical current okay and this electrical synapse is very fast action when an action potential reaches a terminal what happens the electrical current flows directly from one cell to another via gap junction or release the neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft. So this this process is actually happened during the action potential. If you can remember your previous lecture, we have learned how the action potential is generated by the sodium potassium ion gated channel. So this process, the release of neurotransmitter or the flows of the electrical current from one neuron to another neuron. Okay, so this is the presynaptic neuron and this is the postsynaptic neuron okay so the transfer of signal from one neuron to another neuron it happened during the action potential uh, level okay or action potential stage if you can see here okay for chemical uh, synapse okay uh, chemical neurotransmitter they need the uh, sorry the calcium ion to trigger the process okay this calcium ion will help or will trigger the neurotransmitter that contains inside the vesicle to attach to the membrane okay uh, so calcium ni akan membantu lah membantu untuk uh, vesicle ni attach pada membrane tadi so once it attach to the membrane the neurotransmitter will be released so this neurotransmitter they are can attach pada ligand gated ion channel they are can attach pada sini okay okay so when it attach it will trigger the opening of the channel okay channel tu akan terbuka okay so when the channel is open it will involve the entry or uh, the entry of the certain ions and that ion uh, is very important for the um, signaling purposes. So now we learn on synapse. Okay, what is synapse? Synapse is the junction between a neuron and another neuron, or a neuron and effector cells. For example, the muscle or gland cell. So when that neurotransmitter, for example, this neurotransmitter, if it attached to the receptor on the muscle cell. It will trigger the movement of the muscle. Let's say this neurotransmitter attached to the um, to the receptor on gland cell, for example, in pancreas, okay, or in thyroid. So it will trigger the release of the certain hormone, okay. Uh, depending on what type of receptor or uh, which cell that the neurotransmitter attached to, if it attached to the pancreas, may probably the hormone of um, insulin or glucagon uh, will be released 
if it attached to the thyroid gland so probably the hormone of thyroid will be released so that is um, the function of the synapse okay it can it can be the junction between the neuron and the neuron another neuron or a neuron and other effector effector cells so we have here another term is synaptic cleft synaptic cleft is the tiny gap between the cell at a synapse the presynaptic neuron has a swelling called a synaptic node so this is the node okay in the form of like a node node like structure so in in this structure it contains synaptic vesicles that fill with chemicals that call neurotransmitter uh, so ni vesicle vesicle ni kita panggil synaptic vesicle okay inside the synaptic vesicle there are chemicals which is known as neurotransmitter so these are uh, several terms that you must know and able to differentiate what is synapse okay Synapse ni penghubung antara neuron dengan neuron Ataupun penghubung antara neuron dengan effector cell And then apakah itu synaptic cleft okay, Apa presynaptic neuron, postsynaptic neuron And then apa uh, uh, synaptic vesicles okay, So impulse dalam bentuk neurotransmitter So these terms uh, you must know and able to differentiate Okay, okay So these are the um synapse okay synapse uh members so the synapse consists of presynaptic end where the neurotransmitter are meet and the postsynaptic ending has neuroreceptor in the membrane and synaptic cleft so these are the synapse synapse consists of presynaptic ending postsynaptic ending and the synaptic cleft the action potential cannot cross the synaptic cleft the nerve impulse is carried by neurotransmitter so impulse kita yang daripada neuron ke neuron tu dia dia bawa dalam bentuk neurotransmitter and the action potential yang kita belajar there are five stages of uh, in apa to produce the action potential uh, starting from the resting stage depolarization okay and, and so on sehingga lah under shoot okay that action potential that is generated from that process it cannot cross the synaptic cleft so dia akan habis sehingga presynaptic ending sahaja okay and then during this action potential stage okay the neurotransmitter will be released to the uh, synaptic cleft and the neurotransmitter later will attach to the receptor on the postsynaptic membrane so apa boleh tengok pada gambar rajah ni okay so this is the presynaptic membrane or presynaptic node okay so this is happen during action potential maksudnya waktu dia punya volt ialah 30 millivolt which is uh, already past the threshold level okay so um, during this stage okay in order for the neurotransmitter attached to the membrane presynaptic membrane here so actually there is a protein here so uh vesicle ni dia akan attach pada protein ni sebenarnya okay okay uh, so untuk memastikan this vesicle attach to the protein the calcium ion must be in flux okay dia perlu masuklah ke dalam uh, presynaptic uh, membrane ni okay so calcium ni akan trigger the movement of the vesicle towards the membrane so once it attached to the membrane the neurotransmitter will be released okay so berlaku di mana di bahagian synaptic cleft okay ha inilah ruangan synaptic cleft so neurotransmitter akan attach kepada ligand gated ion channel so once it attach to the ion channel the ion the ion channel will be uh, open okay will be open so that the sodium will go inside meanwhile the potassium can go outside okay and later when there is no action potential or the membrane become repolarized okay or back to normal again you you can check the previous uh, notes okay the stage okay when the 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 repolarization of the membrane happen so this neurotransmitter will be taken out from the 
uh, ligand gated ion channel so that the ion channel will be closed so what happened to this neurotransmitter this neurotransmitter must be vanished ataupun perlu dihapuskan oleh enzyme so nanti kita akan tengok enzyme apa yang akan hapuskan this uh, neurotransmitter Okay, so the second, the action potential trigger the opening of voltage gated calcium channel in the membrane and trigger the influx of calcium. So, saya dah explain. So, awak boleh baca lah uh, according to the step. And the third step, the elevated. Elevated maksudnya peningkatan eh. Peningkatan calcium ion concentration in the terminal will cause the synaptic vesicle to fuse with the presynaptic membrane. And the vesicle release neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft. And the neurotransmitter bind to the receptor portion of ligand-gated ion channel in the postsynaptic membrane and cause the opening of the channel. Macam saya explain tadi. That neurotransmitter will attach to the ligand-gated ion channel and cause the opening of the membrane. So in the synapse illustrated here, both sodium and potassium can diffuse through the channel. So dia boleh masuk keluar secara bebas lah sebab ion apa, channel dah terbuka kan. Okay. And then the neurotransmitter is released from the receptor and the channel closed. The synaptic transmission ends when the neurotransmitter diffuses out of the synaptic cleft. Okay, so that is the process. Okay, the process how the neurotransmitter is uh, is a uh, transfer okay from presynaptic neuron to postsynaptic neuron. So the neuron, when neurotransmitter bind to receptor, they might trigger an action potential in a neuron. And it can cause muscle contraction in a muscle cell or cause a hormone to be secreted from a gland cell. Okay, untuk statement ni, dia refer kepada neurotransmitter tadi. Okay, bila dia bind to any receptor, okay, bila dia bind to any receptor, kalau receptor tersebut ialah um, neuron, dia akan menyebabkan action potential. Kalau receptor tersebut berada di bahagian muscle, dia akan menyebabkan muscle contraction. Kalau receptor yang di atas itu ada pada gland, dia akan menyebabkan hormone to be secreted. Itu maksud dia. So, because the receptor are only on the postsynaptic membrane, the synapse will make sure the impulse are unidirectional. Maksudnya, one way. From pre to post. Okay, dia tak akan... Uh, Kontra lah, takkan daripada post kepada pre no. Sebab the receptor normally found on the postsynaptic membrane. Neurotransmitter are removed from the cleft so the response doesn't keep happening. Okay, and for example, the common uh, neurotransmitter are acetylcholine and dopamine. So, ni ialah dua neurotransmitter yang very commonly found in our body. So, boleh ingatlah acetylcholine and dopamine. Okay. The same neurotransmitter. Okay, ni refer to the the same neurotransmitter. It can produce different effect in different types of cell. For example, let's say, if the dopamine neurotransmitter, when it attached to the neuron, it can cause the action potential. And when the dopamine, the same dopamine, Attached to the muscle, it can cause the muscle contraction. So that is the meaning by this point. So now we go into acetylcholine. Okay, acetylcholine is one of the most common neurotransmitter in both vertebrate and invertebrate, and the action involves inhibitory or excitatory. Sama ada dia boleh mengelakkan sesuatu, inhibit the process to be happen. Or it can be excitatory, menggalakkan lagi satu proses tu. Okay, so this one is uh, referring to the action of the uh, neurotransmitter towards the uh, effector lah. Okay, sama ada dia boleh inhibit ataupun ex, uh, excitatory the process. Okay, so this is about acetylcholine, widely used at synapse in the peripheral nervous system, released at the terminals of all motor neuron. Okay which activates skeletal muscle and many of the autonomic nervous system especially in the parasympathetic branch. So, we're going to check autonomic nervous system ni action yang macam mana? Adakah kita sedar ataupun tidak sedar? And apakah contoh-contoh parasympathetic? Okay, parasympathetic action. Yang ni awak kena check. 
Okay, apa maksud autonomic nervous system and autonomic ni dah ada bahagi dua. Okay, ha, satu parasympathetic, satu apa lagi yang lain. So, awak boleh check. Some synapse in the central nervous system. Okay, so semua ni ialah keberadaan acetylcholin. Dekat mana kita boleh jumpa? Di peripheral nervous system, dekat all motor neurons, dekat autonomic nervous system. Okay, and the acetylcholin is removed from the synapse by enzymatic breakdown into inactive fragments. So, the enzyme used is acetylcholinerase 3. Okay, ni ialah enzyme yang akan menghapuskan acetylcholine once this uh, neurotransmitter is no longer needed. Okay, so these are the example of major neurotransmitter. We have acetylcholine, uh, others no epinephrine, dopamine, serotonin and some of the amino acid can be the neurotransmitter. For example, GABA. Glycine, glutamate, aspartate, and some neuro neuropeptides, okay, which involve the um, substance P. This neuropeptide is very diverse group. Only two of which are shown, okay, which are substance P and uh, and endorphin, okay. So that's all for this uh, subtopic. Uh, the last subtopic in nervous system. Later I will. Uh, Later, uh, we will continue with the next uh, chapter. Thank you.